Hey, what's up guys? Clash here, and welcome back for some more of Oblivion, and I'm back here in Cyrodiil, and you may be wondering why. Well, uh, since Skyrim is so close, less than a month away now, I decided to get all of the armor that I needed to get off camera, and then come back to Cyrodiil so we can get right back into the main quest. And as you can see here, uh, my guy now looks really badass. Look at that armor. It's super awesome. And if you want to know how to get it, uh, all you have to do is Google Madness Armor, how to get, and it should lead you to, to the Oblivion Wiki, and in that Oblivion Wiki, it'll tell you everything you need to know. So, how to get the Madness Armor, Google that. What you have to do is just get all this Madness Ore, and then you take it to some chick in uh, New Shayot, that city, and she'll make you all of that armor. And as for the helmet, it's a little bit different. You have to do this quest, uh, which I was planning on doing on camera, but it ended up being confusing, and... You know, we're still pressed for time here, so uh, here you go, here's the helmet. And if you Google how to get Count Sirion's helmet, and you want to get this, then um, it'll tell you everything you need to know. So, with all that being said, it's time to go get back into the uh, main quest here. And what we have to do is get to a Daedric Shrine, I believe. I need to locate a Daedric Artifact and bring it back to Martin at Cloud Ruler Temple. Alright, sounds easy enough. So, I do believe there is one right here in this little space right here. So what I'm going to do is fast travel to Bruma, these wild eye uh, stables, and from there we can head over to the shrine and we'll be in good shape here to continue on with the main quest. And it does suck guys, I realize this, like I kind of feel bad because I wish I could have played through more of this game and some people were actually asking me in the comments, I was looking back through some of the uh, past 10 Oblivion videos and some people were like, wow, you're on like almost episode 100 and you still haven't beaten the main quest or whatever. Uh, the reason for that was I planned on doing everything in Oblivion and then finishing the main quest last, so it'd be like all epic and stuff, because there's a lot more to Oblivion than the main quest, so that's my explanation for that. But since, you know, we're pretty much coming to the conclusion of uh, this Let's Play with uh, Skyrim coming out, uh, that's why I'm getting on the main quest now and taking care of all this crap right now, so... That's my explanation, and that's my life story. Hope you guys understand and all that, and what does this sign say over here? Go ahead and read this. Imperial City that way. Well, that's great, but I don't really care about that. Care about getting over here. I'm probably gonna have to traverse up this giant-ass mountain right here, to be honest. Because the shrine is supposed to be, like, right here from what I saw on the map that I was looking at on the interwebs just a little while ago. And it should be up over here. Not even sure if this horsey of ours is going to be able to get us up there. And Oh no, we got goblins. It's all good though, because we've got badass armor and we've got the umbra, so we should be fine here. Oh man, it's two shamans, really? Two of these cleavage-bearing freaks? See, this is ridiculous. That's inappropriate. Like, just goddamn, put it away. Nobody wants to see that. You're ugly, you probably smell, and oh my god. That's, that's just rancid. You know, I've said this before. These stupid goblin shamans are ugly as hell. Maybe need to go back into their caves and never bother Narnia with their ugliness ever again. Ugliness. It's not a good trait. But none of you guys are ugly. You guys are all beautiful. I promise you this. Don't, any, don't let anyone ever tell you that you're not beautiful. Because you are beautiful. It is true. How does that song go? I am beautiful. No matter what they say, words can't bring me down. This mountain might bring me down, though, because I can't freaking traverse upwards. Can't ascend. Ascend, horsey! Ascend! There we go. Just gotta glitch the system a little bit. Alright, the shrine should be right over here. Sweet. Actually, I don't even think we had to go up the mountain. It's like right down here. Damn it. I feel dumb now. Oh, well. Oh, no. Our horsey is getting hurt. <gasps> what is that? Some kind of... Oh, it's a goblin. I thought it was a wolf or something, but it's not. It's just a goblin. And thankfully, it's not one of those shamans that can, like, show me their cleavage and have me get all disgusted. No, don't hurt my horse. No! Horsey, no! You cannot die. All right, he's dead. And you're fine. All right, you've still got health and everything. You're you're fine. <gasps> what the hell just happened? Woo! Did my horsey kick me? No, horsey. I love you. No. Come back, horsey. I didn't mean to hit you. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe it was this guy. <gasps> no! No! Okay, good. My horse is still alive. You son of a bitch! You do not get to hurt my horsey, and I just hit my horse again, damn it. No, horse, I'm sorry! Alright, where's my healing spells? I need to heal our horse here. Let's see. Uh, there we go. 
Horus, you're okay. I shall heal you. And then you'll be good to go. Alright. You're fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. I know you've got, like, arrows sticking out of your... I don't even know. I guess that would be your breast, so to speak. And you got another one that's, like, through your entire chest right there. Which is not good. Yeah, it's like an arrow in our horsey's chest. But now he's good to go. Alright. You're fine, horsey. Don't worry about it. You are beautiful. It is true. I need to learn that song. Maybe do a cover of it once I'm way better at singing than I am now. Ooh. Here we go. We're at the shrine. All right. It worked out. The horsey is good. We killed a bunch of goblins and I have like arrows in my face. Ew. That must... That's painful. Yeah. That must have been pretty bad for our guy to go through. But he seems to be doing all right here. He's got a lot of health. So let's go ahead and heal up a little bit. And do we talk to the shrine and... Oh, no. You're not the type of follower that Namira requires. Damn it. All right, I think there's another shrine over down here. Yeah, it's like right around this part of the Heartlands thing. I should have done a little bit more research before getting into this whole thing, but whatever. Let's go ahead and descend down to Narnia over here. Wait a minute. Okay, good. Let's go south, which is I'm pretty sure in this direction. Yeah, it says it on the compass right there. Or the compass, compass, however it's pronounced. Don't really care, but as long as we're going south, it doesn't matter to me. <gasps> okay, it's snowing. I just noticed this. I think it's actually been snowing for a while now. Apparently in Skyrim, the snowing is going to be, like, super awesome. And it's actually going to, like, uh, collect on the ground randomly whenever you're in a place where there is snow. And I think that's pretty awesome. And the shrine over here should be showing up on our maps any second now. Unless I'm completely wrong about the location, which would suck. Because then I'd have to end the recording and go figure out where there's a shrine that we can visit and get the Daedric item. If worse comes to worse, what I'm probably going to do is just wow. <laughs> that wolf kind of uh, flew. Fly, wolf, fly! Oh, wait, you can't because you're dead. So, um, yeah, if worse comes to worse, I could just sell the, the key, the skeleton key. At this point, since we're going to be finishing the Let's Play pretty soon, it won't even matter, to be honest. I mean... Oh, there's the shrine. So yeah, what I'm going to do, actually, is if this shrine won't let me do the quest that I have to do for it, then I'll just go ahead and give Martin the skeleton key. And it's lagging a little bit, which is kind of... terror bad. I don't like lag. Lag, you can just go ahead and get the hell out. Nobody likes you. You're ugly. And I've mentioned this before. If I met Lag, I would grab him by the tie and throw him into a bush. Then I'd poop on him. There's the shrine. Too bad there's like an enemy around here. Hopefully the people who are like worshipping this shrine will help me out with this battle here. Dismount the horsey! Whoa! There we go. Alright, so who's attacking us? Let's go ahead and find this out. Getting a lot of lag. I don't know what that's about, but uh... That freaking bear is getting messed up. Do, we, do I even need to help? Like, is this bear even standing a chance? Nope. <laughs> That's what you get, bear. Being a jackass and all that. I'll take your pelt, though. Alrighty. Do you have anything for me, Shrine of uh, Mephala? Nothing happens. God damn it. Can I talk to one of the followers about this? I am only a supplicant. Speak to the Dark Elf. The Dark Elf. Where's the Dark Elf? Hey, you. Over here. You approach the Shrine of Mephala. The web spinner watches you, stranger. Uh, Okay. Mephala tugs the strings of mortals for her pleasure. Are you sure you desire audience with the web spinner? Uh, I'm pretty sure I do. Leave Mephala an offering of nightshade at the shrine between midnight and dawn. And the web spinner may grant you an audience. Ooh, yay. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I have some nightshade. If I don't, I'm going to be pretty annoyed. Because I don't want to have to go collect some. And if that's the case, then I'm just going to sell the, uh, or not sell, but give the skeleton key to Martin. Because I don't feel like looking for Nightshade. But I've got to have some around here somewhere, right? I don't even know if it would be in here. It'd be in the alchemy ingredients and stuff, right? At least I hope it will be. Uh, here's a bunch of stuff. Any Nightshade in here? I really hope there is. Nernroot. Damn it, there is none. No! Well, maybe I can find some in the immediate area over here. Any flowers? I'm not seeing any of those purple flowers. I'm pretty sure the nightshade is like these purple flowers, and they, they just 
show up randomly. I don't know if they show up anywhere near where I am right now. But I can't see any. That's that's great. Damn it. I could probably buy some from somewhere, but because I don't really feel like doing that and I'm lazy, I'm just going to give Martin the skeleton key. It's not like any of the loot that we get from chests or anything is good. I mean, it's helpful for, like, stealing and breaking into places, but... At this point in the game, it doesn't really matter. We just need to get the main quest done, and... After that, we're home free for Skyrim. And Skyrim's gonna be way better. I'm probably gonna have, like, 500 episodes of this.